Hello, my name is Morgan Freeman, and today I am going to take you into the Palmwak concession in the northern part of Namibia. It is the third day of our self-drive camping trip. Together with our guide, Wayland, we have already found desert elephants and desert rhinos. Now we were on the lookout for desert lions. And luck was with us again. Less than two hours after breakfast, they were already lying in front of us. But not just any desert lions. These were at the time the most famous desert lions of the world. A coalition of initially five males that had aptly been called the Five Musketeers. The brothers and cousins had gained fame through a documentary by a Dutch couple that had monitored the lines from their birth for two continuous years. The film was released as The Vanishing Kings, in hindsight an all too appropriate title. The lines in front of us were called Adolf, Paula, Ben and Talamore. Harry the fifth member of the coalition was killed less than two weeks ago by angry farmers when he and the other males tried to attack their livestock. Adolf and Ben had also been hit by bullets but for now seem to have recovered. All four lines have been colored by Dr. Philip Stander, a Dutch zoologist who has dedicated his life to try and minimize the human-lion conflict in this part of Namibia. The GPS colors help Dr. Sander to monitor and control the movement of the lions. However, on August 9th, less than two weeks after these clips were filmed, the signals of three colors abruptly and permanently disappeared. 24 hours later, the sad confirmation. Adolf, Paula, and Ben were dead too. Poisoned by farmers who then not only burned their carcasses, but also the colors. The lion's only mistake, they had raided yet another village, killing a donkey just like this one. What makes their fate and story even more sad? Three days later, the lions were supposed to have been moved to another, less habituated part of the country. Talamoa, the last remaining member of the Five Musketeers, was later translocated, and yet he survived his brothers and cousins only for less than a year. In June 2017, he, together with a lioness and their two cubs, was poisoned too. In the ongoing battle between rural cattle farmers and free-roaming lions, I hope you have watched carefully because these are the last film shots of Adolf, Ben, Paula, and Tolamoa, now vanished kings.